guys, welcome back to Chrome Productions, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little different. I will be revealing to y'all my official haunted house for the 2024 season. Now, I've never done any kind of haunt builds before or any kind of haunted house related video uh, besides last year, or I guess I guess earlier this year, really, whenever I, I uploaded a video kind of showcasing what we did do for 2023, but it, that was, you know, long after the Halloween season. This year, I actually want to kind of take y'all along with the journey of building the haunted house. So I guess to start with that, what exactly is the haunted house for this year? Well, it is actually a haunted theater theme known as the Thriller Theater. And I'm very, very excited for this one because this is a very like specific kind of theme. And the more specific a theme is, the more fun it is to do in my opinion, because you just have to put a lot more um, detail to it to make it really feel like you're actually inside of a theater. You know, I feel like anybody can do a, you know, cool haunted house for sure you know adding animatronics and lighting and stuff like that but to actually like settle in on a very specific theme and then kind of going by that is what makes it really fun to create so what exactly is the full haunt of thriller theater well it's basically just a big homage to the history of theaters so the first half in the garage the inside portion is going to be based off a vintage classical theater having a lot of theatrical production related things such as you know showmen and uh, I guess illusionists and also like musicians as well along with having a very heavy theme on the comedy and tragedy masks as well We're also gonna have puppeteers and uh, magicians with card tricks and such things and even a backstage area Now the kind of characters you can see in it are just very vintage looking characters So such as the new for this year ringmaster even though he is a ringmaster at a carnival I still think his whole look can very well fit in with a theater theme a vintage theater theme as a showman Which is kind of just what he is pretty much um, the only difference to just make him fit more with a theater theme is I'm going to be putting in or putting on I should say a comedy mask on his face um, just to kind of give it that more theater essence to him other animatronics that you'll be able to find I guess or that I'll get for this year is Bobby strings to of course go in the puppet area and jack of spades as, as well as uh, Henry hustle and I'm gonna take Ava from the black heart animatronic and put her in front of the or in the backstage area in front of like a um vanity mirror as if she's like doing her makeup and she's just like a dead corpse sitting there or something that's kind of what the whole vibe is going to be you know just very vintage sort of characters that kind of have like this really old aesthetic to them um you'll see more what i'm talking about whenever we do haunt builds of course we're gonna have a lot of actors in there you know playing their own respective roles and such but that is sort of what the inside of the garage is going to be just a very vintage classical theater now as for the backyard portion what we're going to be doing is I mean, it's kind of hard to do a theater inside the backyard, you know what I mean? Like outside, you can't really create an enclosed space whenever you're outside. It's really difficult to do. So what we're going to be doing is instead of it just being like a theater, it's going to be more themed towards a cinema. We're going to have loose cinema, you know, decorations around about uh, more of like an 80s sort of vibe, um, as well as like a drive-in theater also. And basically what each scene of the backyard is going to be is a horror movie, basically like themed haunt where every single section is going to be based to a different theme so of course as we see here ghost face um he's gonna have his own section really cool stuff we have planned for him you'll see that very soon this next scene right here as you see is the sheets in the first halloween movie with michael myers whenever he's in the sheets even though it's kind of a small scene in the film i think this would be very cool for a haunted house kind of what we're thinking is like people can go through the sheets we're gonna have like three rows of sheets and our actor as michael will be somewhere within the sheets and you won't really know where and he'll kind of just follow you it'll be like a mini maze within the haunted house itself so that should be a pretty cool scene and of course, we're going to have Leatherface in there too, one of my favorite animatronics from Party City, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, also being probably my favorite slasher movie right up there with Scream, to be honest. Um, he's going to be underneath the patio of the backyard, so he'll have his own little butcher, you know, section, if you will, with, you know, just all these, like, cool decorations of, like, bones and stuff hanging from there, just to kind of make it feel like you're in the actual movie itself. Um, we're, another thing we're going to be hopefully doing is... Uh, not only buying the ticket display from the spirit theme this year but also giving 3d glasses to kind of make it look like you're watching a 3d movie and the characters are sort of popping out at you um that should hopefully be a pretty funny gimmick and stuff something else that we're going to be ha having for this haunt is alien which even though there is no xenomorph animatronic and the costume is kind of expensive to get it i will be using deathstalker because deathstalker looks enough like xenomorph to where i think people will understand what it's trying to be at the very least and then we're going to put Exterminator in there. Even though he doesn't entirely fit with the whole Alien movie, I still think it's a close enough fit for sure. Um, we are going to have other characters such as like Freddy Krueger and Pennywise and even Frankenstein. But I will get into those a bit later because there needs to be a bit more development on those characters for right now. But so far, the movies that I just mentioned have a pretty good amount of development. And I'm pretty confident that that will turn out the way I hope it does. 
So yeah, that is basically most of the entirety of Thriller Theater. There's so many other little details in there. Um, like we're going to have, you know, an actual popcorn booth. You know, instead of candy, we're going to be giving out popcorn. Like I said, we're going to be having, hopefully, um, 3D glasses and uh, fake tickets as well. Just to kind of make it really immersed in this whole theater atmosphere. I'm really hoping we can pull it off. Now, the only thing is that the reason why I haven't really ever done a haunt build before is just because I'm very busy throughout the fall year. I'm in band at my school and the fall is the busiest season for us. So that doesn't really leave me a whole lot of time to record. It basically just leaves band, school, and the haunted house basically. And that just takes up all of my time. So what I'm doing is I'm sort of starting to do the haunt builds now over the summer instead of in fall. And that has helped a lot. And I actually have recorded the first haunt build already. And I'm about to start recording the second one next week. Um, so I do already have a haunt build ready to go for y'all, which is the facade of the theater, because I am actually doing a facade this year, which should be pretty cool. So yeah, anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Tell me in the comments below what do you think of the Thriller Theater. And if you have any like, suggestions or anything like that, or anything you want to ask, maybe just put them down in the comments below. And yeah, I'm hoping that I can get multiple haunt builds out, but I'll try as much as I can. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.